Do not leave the building at lunch. KTV has learned that Kaiser Permanente is telling its workers at its headquarters in downtown Oakland to stay inside, and it's all about worries over crime. The message comes after some Kaiser employees were robbed as they went to get something to eat. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Kaiser Permanente warning their employees to stay inside the building at all times while they're on the clock due to the danger that exists outside the building. Now, before we can get into how one may read this and what this warning really means, let's go back. Now, Kaiser Permanente, they operate hospitals and healthcare centers all around the country, and I believe they also offer healthcare. If I'm wrong with anything that I'm saying, let me know in the comments below. But basically, they are a healthcare company and they're headquartered in Oakland, California. Now, Oakland is so dangerous, so crime ridden that you can't go get lunch at 12 noon. You're walking on the street like everything's hockey dory. All of a sudden, you get beat in the head by some crackheads, robbed, and all kind of other stuff. So they're saying, hey, employees, bring a bag to lunch. Bring some snacks, go to the vending machine if there's one inside the building, do that if you want to eat during lunch, but do not leave the building. Now, once you're off the clock, it's closer to sunset, and things might get a little squirrely. Hey, it, it's in God's hands, okay? It, it's above us now, it's in God's hands, we can't help you. But while you're on the clock, don't leave the building because you may get stomped into wine. You may get beat in the head. And we don't want to have that happen on our dime. Now, before I go any further, let's get into the news clip. We're going to see a little bit more. We're going to hear a little bit more. And if you want to see the video in full without my commentary link, as always, will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Do not leave the building at lunch. KTV has learned that Kaiser Permanente is telling its workers at its headquarters in downtown Oakland to stay inside, and it's all about worries over crime. The message comes after some Kaiser employees were robbed as they went to get something to eat. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. New at 6 tonight, our crime reporter Henry Lee tells us, while it's a message about staying safe, many disagree with what Kaiser is doing, including businesses that depend on those workers. Let's pause right here. Now, I don't think Kaiser will put out this warning after just one little incident they may cite one incident right now in a news clip so far but i'm pretty sure it's probably a pattern of violence that's been happening there's probably a lot of things been going on okay if you got a parking garage or a parking lot or right outside there's some things happening in this area where kaiser said okay let's put out the warning do not leave the building while you're on the clock and as i said once you get off and you got to go back home well hey man it's in god's hands well let's keep on going it's just kind of scary in general, not even just to go to work, but just kind of coming outside. Ariel Crenshaw works for Kaiser Permanente, Oakland's largest private employer. The health plan has directed workers in Oakland to stay in their offices for work and lunch because of concerns over crime. Workers are being told to bring their own food or have it delivered. I do agree. Why? Because just their safety for their employees. You know, um, if you can work at home, work at home. If you have to come in, just be safe about it. In a memo issued last month and obtained by KTVU, Kaiser also tells workers not based in Oakland, don't have any meetings downtown, move them elsewhere, or have them online. And so basically, people that work in this area, stay inside the building during work hours because it's dangerous. And even if you don't work there, but you want to go there for a meeting, well, it might not be safe for you to have a meeting either. It's, it's, just, it's just not a safe place to be at all. It also says the Claremont Hotel in the Hills is the only hotel approved for business lodging. In a statement, Kaiser said in part, those recommendations remain in place for now. Kaiser Permanente is committed to ensuring the safety and security of our employees and physicians across all of our locations. We continually monitor our environments for concerns, review our practices, and strengthen them whenever possible. Many downtown merchants and other people who live and work in the area are taking issue with these directives. And it is a little upsetting to hear that, you know, because, you know, everyone's trying to thrive. Everyone's trying to, you know, make business. And, you know, it is pretty slow as it is. I don't. And, you know, that's that's a that's a thing. A lot of these businesses, they rely on that foot traffic of people, of, it, of workers going to a downtown area. And then once they are in the lunch break or after they get off, maybe even before they go, like if it's a Starbucks right next to a job, somebody might go to the Starbucks, pick up their coffee, and then go to work. 
Some may come outside during a lunch break, have lunch, or some may come after their shift is over, after they're done, five o'clock or whatever, happy hour, couple of drinks, and then go back to the house later on that night. But when people don't want to be down there, when they want to do work from home, when they want to just avoid this area, when they don't want to, when they're told by their employer, hey, don't even come outside during business hours. When you get to the place in the morning, you're on your own. When you leave on your own, but during work hours, when we're kind of liable for you a little bit, I suppose, we don't want you to get robbed or deleted and then say, well, I was at Kaiser on my lunch break. That's going to be a bad look for them and a bad look for you as well. I don't think you want to discourage people from walking around and kind of give in to the bad elements that are running around. I think I think quite the opposite. I think if there are more people on the streets, there will be less incidences. I don't think so. I mean, I understand what he's saying, but I don't think so because the problem is you have a lot of these things happen in the highly condensed areas. New York City, maybe less there. You might have a little bit more of a police presence there, but Chicago... Some things are happening, but Oakland is just bad. Oakland is bad. Everybody knows it. San Fran is bad. Everybody knows it. And when you don't have the appropriate law enforcement to be able to be able to do their job and crack down on the criminality, you're going to have things like this persist. And you're going to have these notices from Kaiser and other companies to stay away from downtown. Don't be outside. And even without the notice from Kaiser, people are starting to vote with their feet, regardless of what you may say. And what others may say, because they keep become victims of crime, having their cars broken into, getting robbed at gunpoint. Don't nobody got time for that. I think it's overkill. Trauma's trauma, um, but to live under a rock because something bad might happen um, is traumatizing in its own way as well. It would be a policy to destroy Oakland. Having a large corporation tell them to stay in the building and bring lunch from home is. That's a great hairstyle, my man. I'm I'm envious. You know, I got the ball head going on right now. If I could have them swoop bangs in the front with the with the George Jefferson roof missing convertible, that'd be fantastic. But Kaiser, again, it's not even necessarily about Kaiser. They're just vocalizing the feelings of many people who happen to be down there in Oakland all the time, fearing for their safety, fearing for their lives, fearing for their possessions. They're just saying what has already been going on. It's not their fault that they just vocalized it in the statement. Atrocious. So it's clear safety is in the eye of the beholder. It's not clear if these directives from Kaiser will be permanent or not. In Oakland, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And late today, we did receive a response from the mayor of Oakland about Kaiser's decision to warn its employees. Mayor Sheng Tao saying Kaiser is a valued employer and partner in addressing community safety. Oakland is making progress in addressing community safety in our business districts where many of Kaiser's facilities are are located. So there we go. That is a statement from the mayor of Oakland, Mayor Sheng Tao. And yeah, Oakland is not a good place to be. And I've done a couple of videos on Oakland recently. Um, I did one talking about just the, the, the violence, the crime. There's a lot of those kind of videos about Oakland, about Los Angeles, about the left coast in general, a lot of your liberal cities in general. And I noticed some kickback, not much kickback, but a little bit of kickback on my most recent Oakland video. And then somebody was like, hey, ABO, you know, there's always crime and violence in all these cities. Why pick on Oakland? Oakland is specifically bad. It's specifically bad. You know, there are quite a few liberal cities that I don't want to go to, places that I would avoid. But as far as cities on top of the list in the USA that I want to avoid, Oakland is right there. Maybe even worse than Detroit, Michigan. I'm talking, it's it's bad. It's really bad. This is why Keith Lee, the food critic who's viral on TikTok, had to had to leave. He had to just escape. He did a whole review, a food review of the area. He's like, hey, man, it's dangerous. We had to leave. I felt for my safety. It's not for tourists. That's what's going on. So if it's not for tourists and it's not for people that live there and work there, who is it really for? Maybe the crackheads that roam the street. Maybe the criminals that roam the street. Maybe it's for them, but not for normal law-abiding citizens. Now, as I close, I want to say this. I don't think Kaiser is alone in their assertion about the dangers that persist in Oakland. They're not the only business. They're not the only individual people. People see what's happening in Oakland. This is why the food guy was saying, hey, we're already slow. Why? Because people don't want to go there. They want to avoid it. They want to move. They want to leave. That's happening not just in Oakland, but San Fran, Los Angeles, Sacramento, all over. 
the state of California, especially in these big, blue, really bad, criminal-infested cities. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what Kaiser Permanente said about safety? Hey, man, stay inside the building. Don't leave the building during work hours because somebody got robbed. Somebody almost got deleted. Do you think it was just one incident or were there a few incidents and a few reports and a general feeling of a lack of safety in the area? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Here's yet another reason why Oakland sucks, California sucks, and people are leaving. Kaiser put this statement out recently, but before they did that, there was already an exodus out of California from all over the state, not just in this one particular block where Kaiser is located. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <music> you.